Today I'd like to talk to you about magnetic milling or in other words using a mag chuck to hold your jobs. I'm making up some brackets for the collet closer and I originally gripped these in the vise to mill this particular radius. I have to go back and grip it back in the vise to mill the next radius but I milled the top surface when it was set up in the vise. So now to machine the other surface to grip in the vise as it's uneven and hangs out of the vise it may be a bit difficult to get it parallel. Now you can just remove it, remove the vise, place the job onto the table, make up special clamps that actually clamp from the side and hold it down that way. Quite reasonable but as I'm doing the two at a time and one process at a time I don't want to be taking the vice off and on, off and on if I can help it. So as this face is already milled flat I lapped it on each other with a bit of lapping paste just to make sure any burrs or any high spots were taken. Then I just placed it on the magnetic chuck, clamp it down and milled it that way. That way you can be sure that it is flat and it is easier to then just remove the vise and continue on with your work in progress. Now using a mag chuck you have to be reasonably intelligent otherwise natural selection will take care of you. You'll make a mistake, the part will fly off, it will hit you in the head you will die, hence you won't be able to breed, natural selection has, take, has taken place. So what you have to make sure is, and this is with all magnetic type holding equipment, is magnets are strongest when you are pulling away from them. But magnets are quite weak when you slide across them. So the trouble with a mag chuck is, it's great for holding down, but all the cutting forces force it to slide along. So what you have to do is make sure you have end stops that are clamped securely, put your job in, then use large packers that take as much surface area as a magnetic chuck as you can are held in tight. That way it is virtually impossible for it to fly out. But if you want to go gung-ho, take heavy cuts, it will fly out. So what you do is you take lighter cuts than normal and you may be a fan of Klein milling or conventional milling but in this case try to take your cut so as it's pushing onto the fixed stops. That way it won't gradually slide across and then before you know it come up and hit you in the head. So take, Dar take Darwin's advice, the strongest will survive and the smartest also. So try magnetic milling, it's easy, it's quick, it even keeps a swarf in one place for you and I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.